Land Boards presents Mailbag Monday. Let's take a look and see what the mailman delivered today. Wow, looks like a big pox. Hmm, from China in a bag. Hmm, kind of exciting. I know what this is. Been waiting for this for a little while. Kind of excited. Looks pretty well packed. There's a lot of uh, whatever that stuff is, fluffy stuff that goes around it. Looks pretty good. Try not to cut myself on camera. Save the cutting for off-camera accidents. Okay, let's see what comes out of this box or is in this. There's no actually no box inside of it. It's a box of electronics. That's a little bit of a surprise. Uh, I see some wires. I see a little box. Let's take a look and see what goodies are inside of here. Uh, if you saw the title, you already know. It's like a uh, four-wire two-wire interesting cable voltage current sense sort of thing uh, looks like a power supply 14 volts at, or 12 volts at 4 amps wow that's a pretty hefty supply surprisingly big and some strange USB cable probably a USB to TTL sort of a cable like an FTDI maybe that might be what it is uh, wow let's uh, take a look at the unit here that came in the mail today uh, pretty nicely packed even though it's not inside of a box one last slice of the knife here should be able to get it open so I say adequately packed could be better definitely could be worse and it says uh, DC load and charger oh interesting there's not a lot of videos on this unit up on the web um, in fact I think I didn't find any and maybe there was one uh, not much about it. Back looks a little crumbly there. The plastic sticker is not quite stuck on very well. Uh, two nice fans. Looks solidly put together. Nothing was broken in shipment. There's the uh, product information on the bottom of it. Uh, nice to see the two fans. Looks like there's amps and volt connections on the front in red and black. Now let's power it up and see what it does. Now that doesn't look like there's a power switch on it. There's a single plug in the back and the display lights up. Nice little two-line LCD display. And pressing the buttons didn't seem to make it do anything. Maybe we should go look around on the web for a manual. Well, there really isn't much. There's a web page that kind of gave some guidance on it and uh, we figured out what to do from that page. The rest of this video will show just one operation. That's the constant current mode. That's the mode it's in right now. You can see the CC there in the upper left hand side of the screen. But pushing the buttons isn't really doing much. Now the back looks pretty good. Kind of doing its job. Here's a look at all the pieces that came with it. We showed them earlier. Here's the eBay listing for the item. 12 volt electronic battery charger and tester. The unit cost $56 on eBay. It took a few weeks to get here and everything that was ordered came with it. This item is listed as a battery capacity tester and a portable bank tester. And it has a pretty good range. The power supply takes 12 volts, 3.5 amps. It provided a 4 amp one with it. Voltage from 4.5 volts up to 30 volts. Even though it said 12 volts on the first page, that's the power supply for the unit itself and current from 1 to 5 amps. Of course devices like this can't do the 30 volts and 5 amps at the same time. That'd be 150 watts. There's always some current limit on here somewhere or some power limit for the device. The listing also includes a indication about the USB interface. Although there was no software provided with it and the eBay site didn't list the link to get to it. The front panel looks straightforward enough. There's voltage connections in the center and amps on the outside. The thicker cables would plug into the amp side and the voltage, since it's doing sensing, would plug into the uh, thinner cables. The back side of the unit has the two fans. They're fairly small and we'll find out they're fairly noisy, but it looks like they'd be adequate for cooling the unit. It's also got a COM port connection and the power jack, DC power jack in the rear. Now let's have some fun and do some DC load testing. We're going to be using the device in a constant current mode. 
Here's our setup. We have the load hooked up to the DC power supply in the back. It's a 30 volt, 3 amp power supply capable. If you press and hold the set button, it enters the set mode where you can set up the constant current characteristics. I apologize for the video setting here. I didn't peel the plastic off first. But set will move you between the options and increment and decrement buttons will go up and down in the values. Set moves you across each individual position. In this case we're going to set the dropout voltage at which point we want the load to shut off and the current. We've set it to I think uh, 10 volts as I recall and uh, it looks like we're getting about 12 volts. The device says 11.7 volts and we are set to one and a half amps and that's exactly what we're seeing. You can hear how loud the fans are here as well. Let's uh, try to adjust down the voltage to hit that trip point where it shuts off. It should be coming pretty quick. I think I set it for seven and a half volts as I'm going down here. When it hits that point on the load, you can see the load just shuts off at that point. And you can see the current's gone to zero. Also, the voltage goes back up, but that doesn't affect it. You have to turn the unit back on to have the load re-engage. And notice it'll keep engaging all the way down to uh, around 7.5 where we set it to. That looks like that function works pretty well. It stays off and doesn't go back on even if the voltage drops so you're not jumping back and forth between off and on states. The load does pretty much what I wanted to load for. The only thing I wish it had was the ability to set those voltages and then without switching to a second screen vary the load up and down. What I really want to do is test units like wall warts and find out where they what their voltage versus current capability is and that's not something that you can do directly. You have to go through multiple steps with this unit. The nice part about the unit is it's in an enclosed case. It looks like the screens work. One of these days we'll take a shot at battery capacity discharge testing with this device. If you want more information, you can see our wiki pages for these products, and we have YouTube videos on them as well. We have a store in Tindy where we sell all of our cards. Thanks for watching our video, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.